Hey, what's up guys? It's Victor here from Cyborg for Life. And today I want to do two things. One, I want to go ahead and tell you my story of the leg lengthening surgery. And two, I want to tell you about Cyborg for Life and what it can help you with, okay? So my, my leg lengthening story goes way back to when I was, I think, 11 years old. I was roller skating in the neighborhood and uh, I was trying to do a trick on the, on the sidewalk. And I was, these were roller blades. And, um, the front wheel of my wheel got caught between the sidewalk and basically it, it twisted and contorted my um, lower left tibia um, and just my luck that it fractured the bone at the growth plates. Um, so my left tibia, my left lower leg, never grew to match the, the height of my right leg. So I had a height discrepancy between the two legs um, when I was fully grown. So I think it was about just, uh, just near two inches. Um, but anyway, um, so what did this do to me? Basically living life with a big gap of height difference like that uh, caused me to have scoliosis um, in my back. Um, it also caused me to be very uncomfortable when I was in the house barefoot or on the beach or anytime I was barefoot. So basically I tried to manage it with the shoe lifts for a while. Uh, you know, you can build the, your, the bottom of your shoe up with those shoe lifts um, um, and that helped when I wore shoes, but like I said, barefoot, it was really uncomfortable. Then, you know, you go into high school, I started doing sports track and field and just all the constant, you know, pounding on me from the, the running and jumping. I did long jump and track and field and uh, that just put in more stress on the lower back and the joints and stuff. Then I just stopped track and field, got into bodybuilding, natural bodybuilding natural bodybuilding meaning drug free and we don't use drugs so um i started to do a lot of lifts and uh i gained muscle but i also put a lot of pressure on my joints and um you know had a lot of torque in different areas and stuff like that so uh fast forward to when i'm in college and again i'm still dealing with this i put stuff in my shoes these shoe lifts all the time just to try to blend you know my back or you know fix fix my back a little bit but it, nothing ever really worked um so i was watching tv one time i think it was you know, in my like, senior year of college, and um, I saw this technique called the Elizaroff technique, and I saw that this girl was able to gain height. And um, I, was so, I was so fascinated by it. I was like, what the heck? She can gain, you know, there's a medical surgery that can actually fix and grow, make somebody grow taller. Um, and I was like, maybe they can do it on one of my legs. And just my luck that they had said that they can fix uh, height discrepancies. I was like, oh my gosh, I got to get this done. But I saw that this, there was a scarring, uh, caused by the Lizaroff technique and I wasn't really for more scars because uh, long story short I had another fra um, Broken femur and I had got the external fixator and there was big scars there and I was very self-conscious about that But the Lizaroff technique left some pretty, you know, serious scarring um, So then I started to do some research and I was gonna get the Lizaroff done But then I was starting to find out that they had just released uh, Dr. Paley had just released the intramedullary nail aka the precise nail um, so I graduated from college in 2012 and um, basically, I decided to postpone my graduate studies and to get the surgery done. So uh, I consulted with Dr. Janet Conway. She's in, at uh, the Rubin Institute for Advanced Orthopedics at Sinai Hospital in Baltimore, my hometown. So I was actually going to um, University of Maryland at the time, uh, uh, Baltimore County, so it's UMBC, so it's in Baltimore. And um, so I consulted with her and she was very confident that she could do the surgery, fix me. I could still do bodybuilding and compete. I was competing at the time. Um, and that my life would go on as normal. And I was like very, very worried. Um, I did a lot of um, research and um, I was like, what the heck? What do I have to lose? This is what I want. I want to get rid of the scoliosis for once and for all. I want to gain my two inches of height back so I can you know, feel more confident. Granted, I was only about 5'7 flat. At the time and um you know for a man that was just something i was like a little self-conscious about but i was like let's go ahead and get it done so we booked the surgery this is july 2012 we booked the sur surgery for some time in august we get it done um you know immediately after the surgery i start my inpatient therapy six weeks of uh, outpatient therapy i started doing my own rehab at home and before you know it um, six weeks go by the distraction phase of gaining my height is done now it's the consolidation phase where the bone actually heals and uh, by I think it was November or like Thanksgiving time early early December I'm able to walk without crutches I mean it was an amazing amazing process um, and my back felt amazing I mean like it felt so weird at first that I was like this is my actual leg height and uh, I was taller too I had better posture 
and I was more confident immediately, immediately. It changed everything for me, guys. It was crazy. So um, just gaining those two inches of height and just having my scoliosis go, you know, again, my, my spine wasn't fully like fixed. It doesn't happen like that. But like I didn't have the pressure on the joints in the back like I did by, um, and I could walk and take a shower and, you know, barefoot in the house and stuff like that. And I didn't have any issues. So it was awesome. Um, so, you know, the procedure just went, went really well. I was able to uh, resume bodybuilding. Um, uh, but I did want to get the, the nail removed. I didn't want anything, you know, foreign in my body. So about a year later, I got the nail removed, even though they said that you could keep it in. Um, although nowadays, I think that they prefer to take it out. Um, so now, uh, nearly eight years later, I'm living life to the fullest, you know. I'm super confident in everything that I do. Um, I'm not self-conscious about anything. The scarring is minimal. I'm able to wear shorts. Nobody notices anything. Um, you know, uh, my back feels a thousand times better. I'm, I'm training harder. I'm, you know, more focused. I'm not as sluggish. I don't, you know, it's just, it's a life-changing surgery. I'm so, so glad that I got it done. It did everything for me. Yeah, it was a little hiccup in my life at the time. Like I had to postpone graduate studies and it had, I had to like, you know, take some time off and go through some pain and therapy and stuff like that, but it was a hundred percent worth it. And I'd do it again if I had to, I would do it sooner. <laughs> I, if I could find out exactly when Dr. Pilly released that now, I'd get it done immediately. So, um, you know, uh, so basically Cyborg for Life, what I created, um, is basically it's a leg lengthening community. I want to basically have a community of, uh, you know, where people who are interested in leg lengthening, people who are got, who've got it, gotten it done, and as well as the experts and specialists in the uh, industry to basically have like a central hub, a resource hub where they can all kind of join together and we can have, po I'm, gonna, I'm planning to start a podcast, uh, continue to put out video content like this, um, and just share as much knowledge as I can with you guys about this life-changing surgery because it changed my life. And if you're interested in it and you're thinking about it, I know it can change your life too. Um, yeah, it's expensive and all this other stuff. And we're going to talk about that. Um, but I, 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 I can't, I can't, you know, recommend this surgery enough for those who are either, you know, short and want to get taller or those who have a height discrepancy. Um, this surgery can do wonders for you, for your, your mindset and for your physical health, okay? Um, but anyway, guys, that's, that's a long enough video for the first video. I plan to put out more videos like this at least once a week. I plan to start doing podcasts with people who are interested in this and get their story of why they wanna do it, uh, people who have gotten it done and how, how they're coping with it. And like I said, the experts in the field um, to give you their, their um, point of view as well. Okay, guys, so again, this is Victory Ganu from Cyborg for Life. Head over to cyborgforlife.com. That's cyborg for the number life.com. Um, be sure to subscribe to the email newsletter there so you can get notifications when I release a new video or podcast. Um, and if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. That's going to help me out. And be sure to subscribe so that you know you don't miss another video when I put it out. Um, and finally. Uh, I want to hear your, your story. Why do you want to get the leg length any surgery done? Or why are you interested in it? Go ahead and share your comment below. And um, yeah, pass this video along to other people who, are, who might be interested in the leg length any surgery that you know. Um, that'll help me out again. Okay, guys, uh, I, I look forward to hearing your stories. And I really want to, you know, just go ahead and blow up the Cyborg for Life thing. So um, until next time, I'll talk to you later.